Hey Scorpio, so this is LT Tarot about to do a reading for you guys. So this is going to be a, another general love reading for you guys. Um, if you haven't already, please make sure that you like, your comment, and subscribe to the channel. Also, um, if you are looking to make any purchase like spiritual products, any um, like crystals that you may need or you need to uh, book a reading, some rituals, anything, I have it on my website at ltspiritual.com. Also, check me out at Instagram at lt.tarot. Um, and let me go ahead and get right into it, guys. I'm going to pull, I'm going to do a Celsius reading for you guys. I'm going to pull 10 cards. So let me shuffle real quick and see, like, what's coming out for Scorpio. Okay. What's happening? So far, as I'm pulling these cards out, I do see, like, some of you guys may have made a move, uh, may have um, traveled, or maybe your partner stay far and you're traveling towards your partner. Um, just what's popping up to some indecisions here. Um, and I'm going to read the cards in detail, but as they come up, I'm just telling you like some things that's actually coming up here. So yeah, like some indecisions, maybe you're bumping heads or you're trying to make a decision and you and your partner may be choosing um, to take two different approaches here. So that's so far what's coming up. Let me see what else is. Um, pull this back so you guys can see it. Guys, did you guys tune in for my free reading last Friday? Um, it actually was pretty good. Like, I had a lot of people who, um, emailed me and went on my Instagram at lt.tarot and, like, asked a question. And so what I did was I answered the questions for people for free. Um... And um, it was pretty nice. I liked it. I, I think I'm going to start doing more of those at least once a month. Um, just kind of gather up the questions and then pick like 10 people to do a free reading on. So, yeah. Anyway, let's start this out. So let's see if you guys can see it. Where can you see that? Okay. I'm using my iPad, so it's a little different. So the first thing first, we have the chariot card. So this is letting me know, like, and this is the overall energy. And so this is letting me know, like, this is a relationship that people look up to. There's a success in this relationship. People are kind of, I feel like people may look at you guys like, okay, you the go-to couple. Like, you know, that's couple goals almost. I also, um, looking at this card and I'm picking up, like, this could also represent, like, somebody proposing to you or you getting married. I think I just told you guys that somebody wanted to propose to you. Um, there's, like, with the Ace of Wands, there's so many new beginnings, like, that's coming in this relationship. I feel like this is exactly what you needed, Scorpio, because of the fact, like, it's opening up your heart chakra. It's actually balancing your chakras. So not just your heart chakra, but it's balancing um, your other seven chakras, but mainly opening up your heart chakra, which is giving birth to other new things. So there's a lot of new beginnings when it comes to your money, a lot of new beginnings to like maybe with ch um, ch having children. If you want to have a child, this would be a great time to do it. Also, because um, the Ace of Wands, you kind of want to think about springtime. And that's where we're at right now is springtime, right? And the Ace of Wands is a card that represents having, like, new beginnings, like new babies, um, you know, or giving birth to some dreams and things like that. You know, like, whatever you're looking for to have in the beginning, the Ace of uh, Wands is a card that recognizes that there's some new beginnings in your life that's about to happen. Why this is happening is because of, trying to get it in the middle, because of the uh, Six of Swords here. So the Six of Swords is letting me know, like, there is some positive energy that's coming into this relationship. You guys had a rough patch at one point. Um, I feel like a while ago, you guys was having a rough patch with um, 
with your love with your lover like you were separated maybe like a a year a year and a half ago because i was doing a lot of readings about um separation 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 from a partner separation from a partner but now the what i have with scorpio is all my readings has been pretty decent with scorpio as far as like having new beginnings in this relationship with a past lover like actually um finally getting to the point where you can actually enable i mean are actually are able to enjoy your partner and so you could have been moving i mean you could have been traveling with your partner more or you've just recently moved in with your partner but it's definitely letting me know like there's some type of travel there's some type of movement in this relationship you guys have overcome so much like you guys have so much victory that's surrounding you guys it's like you've really overcome a lot of pain, uh, pain heartache you know and it's because you didn't stop you know like you didn't stop until you got to the top you didn't stop until what you uh, wanted i think that you put your foot down but you wasn't um was you would i'm sorry you wasn't actually afraid to go after what you want you wasn't afraid to work hard for what you want I do see with the two of swords that there's going to be some type of um, decisions that need to be made. So it's let me know like you guys have some choices that's going to come up that you're going to have to, um, that you and your partner may not see eye to eye on. So when these things come up, you want to make sure that um, you're not just giving your side of the situation or your point of view, but you also listen to your partner's point of view because I think it's very important. We do have the Wheel of Fortune here. So this is letting me know like things are moving, you know? Even if the wheel is moving slowly, there's some movement in this relationship. And I just really see you smiling from ear to ear because I feel like your partner is actually babying you. They're loving you. They're showing you that how much they care. And all that back and forth that you had a couple years ago, you currently don't have that now. I feel like the communication is really good right now. There's a lot of communication in this relationship. You guys are actually expressing yourself, um, understanding yourself, you know, understanding the relationship, understanding. Uh, I think like what's really important is the self-awareness with you guys, Scorpio, is that you understand your feelings, you understand how you feel, but now, you know, you're actually taking this time out to understand your partner feelings and understand them as a person on a deeper level. With that being said, I just uh, feel like there's a lot of fast movement coming. Being that you guys are both able to actually understand each other, understand the relationship, you know, um, it's like a lot of things are happening so fast. I feel like you're just actually smiling from ear to ear and you're actually enjoying each other. Spirit is telling you guys to plant seeds right now. You know, it's important for you to plant seeds in this relationship and not like um something that you can manipulate somebody with but just plant good positive seeds here also with you planting these seeds you know um figure out what you want don't just plant any and every seed but figure out what you want in this relationship what you want out of life and this is a great time for you to actually plant those seeds now we do have the four of swords so this is a great time also like i feel like you just kind of like laying back being a little dramatic scorpio trying to get the card in um being a little dramatic but laying back enjoying your partner um till it's fullest you know like you're really enjoying the relationship um don't forget to meditate don't forget to pray don't forget to stay balanced and stay centered because that's why you got this relationship is because of the fact that you pray you pray for this relationship you connected more on, a, on your spiritual side. And so don't lose out on that because that's really important for you. I've, uh, with the page of swords here, I feel like you guys have cut through a lot of tension and you're actually getting to the point where like you had pain in this relationship. You had hurt from this person. I mean, this person really done you dirty, right? But you actually cut through all that BS with each uh, with each other, and now you're just able to actually love and understand this person. The next card here is the Magician card, and this is in the Outcome card. And so, with this, let me know is that uh, Scorpio, you manifested this love. 
you got everything you want because you manifested you wasn't afraid to go out there and get what you want um and you actually just manifested this dream love of yours so you guys this is going to be the end of the reading please make sure that you like you comment and subscribe to the channel um, find me on Instagram at lt.tarot. Also check out my websites for crystals. I have great deals on crystals um, and some unique crystals on there at ltspiritual.com. And I'll be seeing you guys soon. Thank you. Bye.